Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be working on the donated lemon tree. I pruned it up in the winter and here is the results. In the winter time, I defoliated the tree, did some hard pruning on the apex, pruned all the branches a little more compact, and I also cleaned all the scale insects off the tree. So today I'm going to check it to see if it has scale insects or if that control method was effective. And I may prune the tree back further, utilizing all the new back buds. Here is a close-up of the new leaves coming out on the tree and they're very, very green and healthy looking. And at the moment they're quite small too, which is a good thing. So I did get a lot of back budding, you know, from the hard pruning. I've got a new branch coming out here. I've got a new branch in the apex here. Uh, down below on the trunk I have three new shoots coming out which is amazing on that old wood. Yeah, so a lot of these branches, they're still a little long, so I can prune them back further utilizing this new growth, which is exciting. I'm also checking the tree over for scale insects and I don't see any, so I think that treatment was quite effective. There's some more back buds coming off the old wood here and some up here, so yeah, lots of back budding. Hard pruning definitely worked well on these citrus trees. My lemon tree was kept cool over the winter, chilling in the basement. I brought it up in the middle of winter, pruned it up, and then it went back into the basement. And then when it started warming up in spring, I brought it out here to the greenhouse and it began growing. This lemon tree I call the donated lemon tree. It was given to me long ago. And over here is my oldest lemon tree, the one that was grown from a seed. So it's over here and it's also growing really well. I didn't defoliate this tree, but it was kept cool in the winter. So you can see the new growth coming in and these leaves are a different color. They're a very, almost a purplish red color, which is quite exciting. They, they look really, really healthy. Now, one thing I've learned on these lemon trees is if you see the new shoot extending, um, don't pinch them back. Um, on this shoot, if I were to pinch it back to two leaves, like pinch the tip off here, all that energy just goes into developing the leaves and they get really, really large. It's best to let the, two, the shoot extend out the leaves to kind of harden off and then prune it back. I find you get smaller leaves that way. Before I came out here to work on the tree today, I watched the last video on this tree where I pruned it up in the winter. And it was very interesting to hear my thoughts and future predictions of how the tree will grow. And I'm very happy with the results. I think it's, uh, it's done really well, exceeded my expectations. I have all kinds of good branches growing in the apex here. So the only uh, criticism I would have with the pruning is that this branch over here is, uh, I didn't expect it to be so vigorous like that. I have all kinds of new branches growing here and this branch is kind of long. So I think I need to utilize these back buds in this branch and bring the profile of the canopy in a little tighter in that area. Here's a close up of all that growth in the apex. So this branch that I cut back shorter divided into two, which is nice. I have a new shoot at the base here. If I want to extend the trunk line up, I can do that. I have a branch coming off to this side. I've got one out the back, which is new. I have one down here at the junction of this branch and this branch, which is a third branch. So I'll probably rub that branch off. The only reason I would keep this branch is if I wanted to prune off the thick one behind it and start a new branch in this direction. So I don't think I want to do that, but it gives you that option. On this branch right here, it's a really good example of utilizing back buds to shorten your branch. So I have a branch here to the left. I have a branch to the right. They're both new. And now I can prune out the center part, shortening that branch and making it more compact. So I'll do that right now because that's what I want to do like that. So now I've made that branch more compact and it also has more movement and more taper. 
if I did get some backbiting on this straight section, in future I could bring that branch back even more. Again, getting more taper and movement and avoiding this kind of long straight section. So this branch, the main branch comes up, it divides into two here. The back one comes up, I have a branch towards the back and a new shoot here. So I could shorten the branch back so it's dividing from the one into two here. So it would make the branch a little more compact. And I think that's a good place to prune it is, you know, right there. So here I go. I'll take it off right here. And when you're pruning fine branches like these, you don't really need to leave a stub because they'll heal very quickly. It's only on the thicker branches. I will clean this stub up here like that. So that gets that back part of the branch pruned up a little more compact. So now I have to deal with this front branch here. There's one, there's a shoot growing back in towards this other branch, the back branch. I'm going to take that out. It's on the inside of a curve too. So that's not a possibility. This one is kind of growing you know, parallel to the branch behind it and kind of a bit too vertical. So I'm going to take that one off also. It's uh, not a good possibility. Here's a stub I can prune off like that. This one, it's kind of growing straight towards the viewer and almost again back in towards the center of the tree. It doesn't flow outwards. It has, yeah, it's a 90 degree branch. So I'm going to remove that one. It's gone. I thought about it. So I, I have this new branch, which I like, and then the upper part. So I'm going to keep this. I have a shoot here, a new one, that I could prune it back, this branch back here, so it comes up and divides from one into two. And that's what I'll do off this part of it. So here I go, taking that off, shortening that branch. I still have a, a growing tip there. And then I need to prune off or shorten this branch. So I have a vertical part here. Now here's this branch here already comes out and it divides from one to two. Now, there might be growth under here, is there? Yes. See this little sh shoot here? There is growth there. So it's possible if I pinch the tip on this one, it might stimulate that to grow with a little more vigor. So I'll do that. I'm going to prune this tip off to a horizontal branch or leaf. And then the back one also, I want the growth to go here because that's a nice branch. So I'm going to prune it back to a leaf that kind of flows outwards. So I'm going to take the tip off this one also like that. So that should stimulate this branch to grow. And when that grows, I can prune this one off or keep these two and prune this one off. Those are my choices. So that gets this branch more compact, shortening it back. And I also get taper and better flow lines to the branch. It flows out really nicely now. I'm stepping back, having an overall look at the tree. I have on the trunk here, I've got three new shoots coming out of the trunk. And I have to decide, do I want to keep any of those? Or do I want to just kind of rub them off or prune them off? So that's what I'm deciding by stepping back here. I, I don't think so. Uh, this is kind of on the inside of this curve going up to that back branch. I already have a branch here. If I had two here, they would be opposite each other. And I always like a trunk to come up, have one shoot coming off, the trunk continues, and then the trunk divides into two. So it's kind of a, a bit of trifurcation, dividing the trunk into three, one being smaller than the major division. It always looks nice on a trunk, I think, when it's styled like that. So I can't see any use for any of these shoots here. Other than, you know, I would have, if I developed this into a branch, I would have something coming out here which would fill in this area. And might look okay. This branch is sort of staggered from the one above, so it's lower than this one where it comes out of the trunk. So 
I could use that. Let me think about it again. I think I do need some kind of a branch coming out here. I think that would improve the tree. So I'm going to leave this shoot. I will take the two smaller ones off. So the two smaller ones, this is called just rubbing buds off. You don't have to cut them. You just rub them off with your finger. You can use your finger here. Just take them off, kind of making them flush. Oh, zombie apocalypse is happening. I'm going to look at this branch back here now. So let's kind of rotate the tree around a bit and look at that branch. I don't know what's a good view of it. Maybe there you can kind of see the structure. Yeah, maybe the front view's fine. On this branch here, it comes up and I have a new shoot here, which is nice because it means then that this branch divides from one to two here instead of way out here. So that gives me the option of pruning this branch back so I have it dividing from one to two here and I will prune it back so what I'm going to do is take this whole tip off so I'm gonna going to keep this one and this one so here I go just like that so now that branch divides from one to two next I'm up here in the apex so let's see what I got So I thought this branch was coming off the trunk, but it's not. It's coming off of this branch here. And it's vertical, so I'm going to take it off. So no use. So that leaves me, I like this branch coming off here. So I have the trunk come up. It has a division here, which kind of cuts this vertical section in half. It kind of adds a feature to this uh, cylind cylindrical section here. So I'm going to definitely keep that branch I'll definitely grow the apex and then I've got this branch coming off dividing into two so I'll just clean up that stump like that and that's got that apex cleaned up now I do have that new shoot here that I need to rub that off I'm not going to use it um, I also have another branch growing from here so I, I think I want to keep this branch I mean it's already under development and looks fine. I'll, I want a multi sort of branch or trunk crown on this tree. I don't want a single leader coming up. So I'm going to take both of these off. So this one will come off the little one and the one under here will come off also. It's always nice when a tree gives you new options like that and you think about them, use the ones you want like this one and prune the other ones away. So this this branch coming off here then, it comes up and it divides into two. This is a new shoot here, which so that's really nice. Uh, this one kind of is growing back in towards the center of the tree. So I'm not a real fan of that. In fact, I really like this branch and I'm thinking of pruning this whole section coming forward off because this branch it grows to the back of the tree and then it grows back forward it's kind of zigzags and i'm not sure if i like that i'm just taking a look at it from the distance i definitely don't like this crossing back towards the trunk and i don't think i like this part because from the front view it's absolutely vertical so i'm going to take it off i'm just going to develop this shoot so this one I will leave a bit of a stub like that. So that's my new branch. Now I have one more branch out the back here. It comes off of this branch kind of uh, straight back, which isn't real desirable from the front view, but maybe the front view can be changed a bit. Uh, it's quite a horizontal branch. It doesn't really flow upwards like the other branches. It's, it's, I'm not, it's not really a nice branch. It looks very awkward, actually. It doesn't flow. It, it's a very, yeah, almost bizarre branch. So 
I think I'm going to take it off. I'm just not a fan of that branch. I don't know if you can tell that from this camera shot, but it's just yeah, a very, very strange looking direction. It's not, it doesn't flow. And you have to imagine that, you know, this is my primary branch structure I'm building. So do I want this one to thicken up back here and become like, almost like a trunk? I don't think so. So what can I do? Well, I guess all I can do is prune it off. So I will, here I go. It's gone. That looks better. It's more flowing in the canopy now. Now you have to imagine this, you know, branching out and filling in. So there I go. Unless there's any more little shoots anywhere. Oh, there's one back here. There's a little bud on the back of the trunk there. I already have two major branches you know, the trunk divides into two here. I don't need a third branch there. Or again, do I? It would fill in the space between these two branches with a, a trunk there. I'll keep it for now. Uh, it might develop into an interesting branch in the future or an interesting trunk line back there. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that. So that completes the pruning on the tree. Let's, let's take a look at it. I'm looking at the tree from the distance, so I think, you know, right now the apex looks a little short. This branch still looks a little long. So if you can imagine the apex filling out, keeping this branch a little more controlled to get the canopy eventually, growing in my new branches that are developing, I think, I think it's uh, got the basis of a very pleasing primary structure to the tree. I think it's... It's on the right track for sure. This second round of pruning for this lemon tree is very important. You do that initial pruning in the winter and then it starts growing back in and you see all the back buds you get. And then you can pick and choose what back buds you want to develop, modify your branch structure according to what you want to keep and what you want to prune away. And yeah, it, it allows you to utilize all that back budding to further develop your tree creating even more, you know, flowing and beautiful branches, movement, taper, direction. It's, yeah, it's, it's an exciting uh, time to do that second pruning, utilizing all the back buds. I'm going to rotate the tree around now. I'm always looking for a better front for the tree every time I work on it, because it's quite often on a tree as you're working away on it over the years that a new and better front may open up. So here I go, I'm going to rotate it around. So this is the current front view, somewhere about here, going around to the right hand side, going around to the back of the tree. So on the back, I have some heavy scars where branches were, were removed and you can see they're healing up and someday that'll blend in and this could become the front. Going around to the left hand side of the tree and back to the front, somewhere in there. Here is everything I pruned off the tree today. You know, no major branch work, just kind of taking off some of the branch tips and the new soft growth. Yeah, a bit of branch selection. I'll finish today's work by giving the tree some water and fertilizer. All right, I'll mix a little bit of my powdered miracle Grow 2020 fertilizer in with my two liter watering can. So I'm just, that's a good amount of fertilizer right there. Just a little pinch, put it into the water, stir it up. And I'm ready to water the tree. So here I go. Give it a good thorough watering. Okay. 
the tree is still draining really, really well. And that should do it. Here's a look at my two larger lemon trees side by side. The donated lemon tree here and the one that was grown from a seed. So the one that was grown from a seed here, I'm going to let it, the shoots grow out, harden off, and then I'll prune it back. Here's a better look at all that new growth with the black background. The leaves look so healthy. They're just amazing, the color in them. So I don't know if it will flower this year. I haven't seen any flower buds on it. I was looking at the lemon trees in the, in the commercial greenhouse the other day. And it looked like the flowers were coming off the tips of new growth. But I don't know, you know, if I overwintered it too cool to get flower buds to form, or if I didn't do my pruning quite right to get flower buds to form, but we will see. Um, this tree's starting to get quite old now, and I have had flowers on it and a lemon form, so it can do it, it can fruit. I've just got to, uh, Learn the techniques, I guess. I was hoping to move some of my more hardy trees from the greenhouse here, outdoors on the benches or in the poly house. However, today it's only a couple of degrees above freezing, a very cold day, and it's pouring rain. So once I get the trees out of the greenhouse here, I can start moving tropicals in from the plant room in the basement and start the work on those. So that'll be exciting. That is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.